I want to talk a little bit about menopause and how can we cope with the symptoms of menopause. So there's actually a lot of symptoms that women experience through menopause. Some we can certainly attribute to, well, yeah, that's definitely hormones, and others that are a little bit more vague, um, but certainly can still be due to a hormone imbalance. So most commonly we would hear about hot flashes and night sweats, um, but also women can experience heart palpitations, vaginal dryness, maybe some vaginal itching, um, painful intercourse due to that dry tissue, headaches, and then there's also some mental and emotional symptoms, uh, fatigue, irritability, moodiness, depression, mental just feeling kind of foggy, and then it can certainly affect the sleep. So some things that we can do in our lifestyle to help cope are exercise, stress management, weight management, um, and if needed, Sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. That's all right. We'll start with so. The coping? Yeah, we'll hop okay. to the middle section oh, there. Yes. Okay. All right. So, some lifestyle coping things that you can do would be exercise, stress management, and weight management. And then there's dietary considerations to take into account. So, certain things that we can do um, or that we do that makes things worse, we can kind of cut back on um, alcohol. You know, a lot of times can trigger especially hot flashes. Caffeine can make heart palpitations worse and potentially trigger hot flashes. Um, in cleaning up the diet, decreasing salt, decreasing sugar, um, cutting out refined carbs, which converts to sugar real easily. And then for some women, dairy and animal proteins can be triggers. Um, avoiding triggers like hot foods, hot showers, smoking, spicy food, Alcohol, caffeine, sugar, all of those things that we tend to really like, kind of limit if you can. Um, some other tips for dressing would be dress in layers, breathable fabrics, loose fit clothing. There are some supplements that we can use that can help. Um, you always want to check with your, your provider first and make sure it's okay. But B complex, vitamin C, magnesium, evening primrose oil, black cohage, maca valerian root um, can all help with some of these symptoms and then of course you would want to consider getting the hormones tested and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy um, so long as there's no contraindications but testing is really important we want to see exactly where those hormone levels are at so that we know exactly how we can help you and how we can treat you perfect okay Ta da! <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to start answering.